And my prophetic word to you today, if you believe it, is before the year is out, you are coming out. Uh-oh. I don't know what you're in. Maybe you're not into anything. Maybe you're not going through nothing around here. But, but if anybody in this room is going through some stuff that you know you want to get out of before the year is out, then I'm talking to you. Open your mouth and shout, I'm coming. Oh, God, I feel my anointing getting ready. Come on, somebody. You're going to get through this. Oh, God, somebody lift in and say, Lord, find a way. God will provide a way out so you can endure what you're going through. Some people stay in a hopeless situation their whole life without even or ever making a decision to seek God's power to get them through it. I don't know where you go but is there anybody here who have made a decision I'm going to see God's power to deliver me this year I'm not going where some other people have gone. I'm not doing some nasty things that some other people have done. Or somebody know I'm a preacher. Because someone who love goat. And because your money done, you come at church. I come make up your face, from pastor. Just because he marks you for your offering. But you spend 60 grand a hobby, man. I still can't get no blessing. I'm going to trust God to get me through, man. Somebody said, I made up my mind to go God's way for the rest of my life. I'm going to trust God to get me through this. When man fail you, God never fail you. When relationship fail you, my God. Now let me say this, long suffering therefore doesn't mean living in misery as uh, any longer than necessary. I want you to tell yourself, I'm not going to live in this condition any more than is necessary. I'm not going to stay in the predicament that I'm in any more than necessary. Ah, uh, oh God. Uh, and I don't know who I'm talking to, but I feel like telling somebody, you've been through enough hell already, and it's time to Is there anybody in this room? I'm fresh out of Israel. I got some anointing on me. I dip in the Jordan. I got some power with me. Can I talk to somebody? Lift your hand and say, my long suffering has got to be over before the year is out. I feel like preaching to somebody here. It was Paul, therefore, who says, be not conformed to this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Lift your hands it's in the mind. I've got to tell somebody. Condition your mind. Begin to speak to your mind. And say, now mind, you need to line up with my heart. Because my heart got some desires. But in my mind, I'm thinking I can't achieve it. I'm thinking I can't make it. My heart desire to love. My heart desire to be rich. My heart desire to be blessed. But in my mind, I'm confused because I'm trapped between a rock and a hard place. I'm in a messed up relationship. I know my mind ain't playing games with me. It's real as day. I'm going through hell. My mind is telling me I got to give up. But something down inside of me telling me to. I don't know who I'm talking to here. I'm going to get through this. Come on, touch your head and say, mine. Line up with the wheel. Mind, get with the program. Somebody touch it as a mind. I'm not in the negative. I'm in the positive. 
I'm not going to lie down and die. You telling me to sleep on it, but I'm rising up out of it. You tell me he's going to bury me, but I know I'm coming. Make up your mind. This is it. I feel like preaching to about 10 people. Not everybody can convince your mind that this is not my end, but I got a new beginning. This is not my last. I'm coming into my first. Somebody get ready to praise God. Lift your hands and neighbor. I serve a transformer who transformed. He does a metamorphosis on a caterpillar. Turn him into a butterfly. Touch your neighbor, say it's been too long. I'm sitting on my leaf trying to find food. Well, my leaf is wool. It's over now. It's about time to fly. I'm tired of crawling on my belly. I'm tired of lying down and crying for my next dinner. I feel like it's about time that I start to fly into my destiny. Fly into a breakthrough. Fly into a miracle. I'm sick and tired of being at the back of the line. It's about time. I reach the head of the line. I don't know who I'm talking to, but God is about to find a way to get you out. Can I preach it here? Somebody praise God. Lift your hand and praise God. Lift your hand and praise God. Somebody praise Him like you feel Him. Give Him the glory. Lift your hands a renewal time, renewing of my mind, renewing of my thoughts, that you may prove uh, what is that good thing, acceptable and, uh, and perfect will of the living God. Somebody speak to your mind, say, mind. I want you to open yourself to the will of God. I don't want to live according to man or according to woman. I want to live according to the will of God for my life. Anything less than the will of God means trouble for me. So I'm going to get out of myself and get into the will. I'm going to stop watch people and start watch God. I'm going to stop trust some people that is around my life and begin to trust God to take me to the next level. Or oh, you don't like the preaching church. You only like the read up church. But you came to the wrong service today. Can I preach to somebody and tell you get out of your mind and get into your spirit and declare over your life that I must have the Savior with me for I dare not I feel like preaching to somebody up in here. The slapping neighbor says, it ain't done yet. It ain't over yet. I'm coming out of this. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. When you renew your mind with God's word, it'll show you his will and strengthen you to get through what you're going through. Once and for all. I want you to lift your hand and say, once and for all, I'm getting through this. I'm going to get over this. Once and... God, Jesus. Ah, what you've been going through for years, this month is your month of deliverance. Uh, I didn't hear nobody. I said, you've been going through some stuff for years. But I prophesy before the year is out, you're coming out. I want you to lift your hand and say, I receive. He 
he'll show you his will and strengthen you to get through it whatever it has been that you're going through for years instead of complaining about uh, your circumstances uh, i want you to be determined uh, to get through your condition uh, lift your hand and say this too shall pass uh, arthur john mesa says uh, don't accept your present uh, temporary situation uh, as your future uh, permanent condition uh, the devil is a liar. Determined, therefore, be determined to get on with your life. I know your heart been broken in some bad relationship, but lift your hand and say, I'm going to get on with my life. I said, your heart's been broken. Some people mess you up and pack you up and park you in a dustbin, in a garbage heap. And you sat in there with all the garbage and think you're a garbage. So you put your life on hold and put your life on pause. Because you say, no better not there, John Shop. But the devil is a liar. I come to tell you, when man fail you, When man disappoints you, God never disappoints you. As a matter of fact, oh, somebody got to shout right here. If God wanted you dead, he would allow what you're going through to kill you. But the fact that you're still alive, going through hell, it means God is with you and he's about to get you. I feel like preaching to somebody here. Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, your husband disappoints you. Get on with your life. The boyfriend hurts you. Get on with your life. Your family turned their back on you. Get on with your life. Church people hurt you. Get on with your life. Because one of dead. Not that she will. Lift your hand and say, I'm still here. After all the hell that I've been through, I'm still here. And the fact that I still have my breath blowing is because God has a plan to get you out of it. The reason why the devil gonna kill you in the den. God has a promotion waiting on you. The reason why the lions gonna eat you. For God has a promotion for you. And if God has it, you're going to get it. So get on with your life and declare no weapon form against me shall prosper and every tongue rise up against me they're gonna be condemned i'm moving on with my life it's worth better i feel like preaching to somebody come out of it come out of it come out of your mess live your life it's your life it's not your boyfriend life it's your life it's not your husband life it's your life it's not your family life it's your life live here live your life come out of it you're coming out of it or you're sitting down in your bed, your bed of depression, your bed of oppression, you become weak, you become desperate, you gave up on God, now you're giving up on your life, and you say, I'm not going to make it, that devil is a liar, nothing is too hard for your God, he's able to get you through it, just call on God, he said, I got power, and I give you power. Every demons and devil trying to hurt you, use your power and send them back to the pit of hell and decree and declare, I'm getting through this by the hook or the crook. I'm coming out of it. I'm feel good.
God. Somebody praise God. Come on, just touch your neighbor and say, move with your life. Move on with your life. You go on living. You're not dead yet. You're still here. Your breath still breathing. Your heart still beating. Your mind still working. Your eyes still visioning. Your ears still hearing. Your feet still reaching. And your hands need to touch your breakthrough. Somebody get ready to lay hands on your breakthrough. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you I feel the Holy Ghost. Can I preach this thing? Somebody praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Lift your hand and say, devil, anywhere you're there, I'm going to fulfill my purpose before my time is over on this earth. And it's not yet done. I'm getting ready for a fulfillment of my purpose. I'm getting ready to pass my past and step into my future. I'm getting ready to say so long, bye-bye to Maka and Lodibar. For Jerusalem is calling me to count some money. Are you ready for a breakthrough? Lift your hands and God, get me through. the God. Hold it. Hallelujah. I gotta end this. Paul says, we walk by faith and not by sight. So some of your problem is you've not yet seen it. And because you don't see it, you can't walk into it. But Paul says, I have not yet attained it, but I press towards the mark of the higher calling to win the prize that is in Christ Jesus. Can I deliver something to somebody here and tell you prophetically that God said to tell you all the hell you're going through, I'm going to get you through it before the year is out. You're coming out of your load. Somebody shout. some prayers somebody praise God somebody praise God we're not to be moved by the obvious we're not to be moved by the obvious situation we must be moved by the actual if you've been saying for years I'm gonna go through this city I'm going I'm gonna someday maybe if it's God's will you, 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 you get up every day with a lot of if, buts, or maybe. But I come to you with an assurance. Uh-oh. Oh, somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. I said no if, no buts, and no maybe. This is a sure declarative word from the throne of heaven. To confirm in somebody's mind and spirit today. That everything that the devil is carrying you through January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Unless you don't believe in this prophet. Because I'm general. You see, you have some little minor prophets rising up and prophesying over individuals. But major prophets 
prophesy over nation, crowd, thousands, hundreds, regions, territories. You got to have to grab it when it's coming major. There's a major word coming at you in breakthrough today. Your chains are about to be broken. Your prison cell is about to burst. God said to tell you before the year is over. You're coming out. Somebody shout. Oh, I hear something in my prophetic spirit. I was born in a parish called Trelawney, Clarkstown, not far from the Long Pond Sugar Factory. I was born in a little health center on the 1st of December, 1975. Which simple makes me look like 16, but I'm 44. But I want to prophesy. By today and my birthday, the 1st of December, somebody is in for a jailbreak. Oh, God, I love you. Somebody's coming out of your cell block. Somebody's coming out of your prison. Somebody's coming out of your dungeon. Somebody's coming out of your messed up relationship. Somebody's coming out. Somebody. The month is coming. Is your birth month for deliverance? Is your birth month for breakthrough? Is your birth month? Because I hear God say, "Tell somebody, the 2020 that is coming up cannot keep you in the teens. There is no 18, 19. There is no 16, 17. It's 2020. It's a new era. It's a new generation. It's a new miracle. It's a new." You've been going through this 10 years, but God said to tell you, the new era of 2020 will not catch you in the house of Lord Debar down in Maka House. You're coming. feel like too much preaching. Oh, somebody's putting something on it right there. Oh, God, I wish some of you would have do that long time. Uh, let me close this thing. It's getting big on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hand and say, I declare. Jump up on your feet, say, I decree and declare. I'm going to stand up and declare. All the hell that I've been through for the last 10 years of my life before the year is out, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm Woo! Somebody give him some praise. Let me deal with your enemies now got to deal a little with your enemies. Lift your hand if you got no enemies. Anybody got no enemies? Ah, your enemies want you to believe you'll never be victorious. So they thought that you'll never be victorious. But the devil is a liar. Stamp your feet so the devil is a liar. Lift your hand and say I've had enough of this. 
and it's time to get through this it's time to get through your mess time to get through your disappointment that devil can't stop you no weapon formed against you will be able to prosper because this time it's not your boyfriend it's not your husband or your wife it's not the preacher or the pastor this time it is God who is coming to get you and he has found a way to get you out of there so no matter how deep they have you how much they lock you up he said Ezekiel I want you to prophesy and tell my people I will open their grave and I'll cause you to rise again lift your hand and say God open my grave of disappointment of financial problem open my grave of relationship problem open my grave of family curse over my life holy ghost somebody raise your voice and declare over your life no grave cannot hold me i'm alive in jesus christ my moment has come your deliverance has arrived open up your mouth and shout unto the lord and declare i'm coming out with a shout no weapon no weapon yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow i will fear no evil i will fear somebody just worship just worship just worship open your belly open your mouth open your mouth open your mouth Shakana, boom fire, boom fire, boom holy ghost, boom holy ghost, loose yourself, open up your mouth, you declare, you're coming out, you're coming out, 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 worship, worship. Worship, open up your belly, shout, I'm coming out of this, no demons, no weapon, no persecution, worship, lift your faith, open your mouth, worship, out, 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 come out, come out of it, Lord, find a way to get me out, find a way, Lord, find a way to deliver me, find a way, Holy Ghost, find a way, break through, break through, Break through, break through, break through. Find a way, deliver me, Lord. Somebody said, Deliver me, deliver me. word says God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear so whatever you're going through you can bear it you can bear it deal with it don't give up on it bear your cross I feel the Holy Ghost but God will provide a way out 
take this verse and stand on it. He will provide a way out. Your circumstances might not change right away. But as far as God is concerned, you are already outside your problem. I don't know who I'm talking to here. But God said to tell you, you're no longer in it, you're out of it. Somebody lift your hand and say, I'm out! You're hurting now. You're hurting now. But your morning is coming. You're sick now. But your healing is coming. You're disappointed now. But your appointment is coming. I don't know who I'm talking to up in here. But I declare you will get through what you're going through. You will get through what you're going through. Jeremiah said, nothing is too hard for God. The writer says, with Christ in the vessel, you're going to smile at the storm. The writer says, fret not thyself because of evildoers, for they soon be cut down. It was God who sent a word to Jesus and said, the battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. Watch God. He's about to fight your battle. And he has found a way to get you out. This profound, Reverend Boxer said, this profound word is coming at you today. If you don't have faith to receive it, you have another guest coming. Because if you think this is a joke, he found a way to break Peter out of his prison with a jailbreak. He found a way to get Lazarus out of the graveyard. He found a way to get Daniel out of the lion's den. He found a way to get Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego out of the fire. If he found a way to get Jesus out of a borrowed grave, he'll find a way to get you out of your mess. You're coming out. I'm not talking fiction, I'm talking facts. I said if he found a way to get Daniel out of a den of lions, if he found a way to get the Hebrew boys out of fire,
if he found a way to raise Lazarus from the dead and call him out of his grave, what about you? He's going to find a way to get you out of your mess before the year is out. You're coming out. She said, Mom, for the first time in so long, I don't know when, I slept in my bed like a baby. I'm ready for Jesus. I want to be baptized. I want to know this preacher, man, because... She said, it's not over yet. That was yesterday. She said, now get some salt. And I want you to bathe yourself in the salt. And I want you to wash your place with some salt. And he went home yesterday with salt. Wash himself in his place. And he called back this morning. He said, ma'am, when is the baptism? I slept like a baby. I couldn't get up out of my bed. God is good. He began to worship God over the phone this month. I don't have to be there, but I got something in place. People say I'm selling sweat. But look what God is doing in New York and only my sweat kerchief is there. Demons is running out of the house. Oh, sex demons backing off man. I need to say a woman, I say a man being molested by... So I came here today to tell some people it's time to sleep on my kerchief. It's time to put one on your chest. Lie down and sleep and say, Devil, if you think you're about coming here tonight, uh, demons, if you think you're about trouble, me Do you know how many people? I was in the UK and the woman came in, can't walk, messed up, can't move, crippled up. Gave her the kerchief. I said, Woman, go home and sleep on it. The woman wake up in the night and it was pure blood. Everything that was locked in our system, everything either came out or up. And she got up and walked. And came to church walking, Hallelujah. sleeping on my kitchen. You think you can talk to me? Hallelujah. I said, whatever it is you're going through, if you believe the prophetic anointed word from the man of God, you're coming out of it. Hallelujah. See, y'all believe the hobby man. Hallelujah. You don't want to believe the preacher man. Hallelujah. Put it in your business and say, the Christmas is going to be good. Put it in your pan, in your purse, in your wallet and say, Christmas got to be good. Because I'm getting out of this poverty. I'm getting out of this condition. I'm getting out of this. And if I got something from the man of God, I will use it to declare. But pastor, I don't need that. Excuse me. God said, Moses, what do you have in your... Use it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shout. Yes. Yes, open your mouth. Yes, we have, we have it out. Out. La Crito, Ruma, Kebra, Sa. Holy Ghost. Somebody's getting a healing there. Somebody's getting a deliverance now. Somebody's getting a breakthrough there. Somebody get it a me. Receive it. Receive it. Receive. 